guys, it's Taylor from Traveling Taylor. I am at the Doha Airport in Qatar on my layover from Bangkok to London. And my flight's delayed about 20 minutes, so I thought it'd be really fun to just take a second and show you what I carry in my carry-on <laughs> uh, on flights. So um, I do carry a backpack and a purse. So I have two, so I have a personal item and a carry-on item. Um, I My backpack right now is the Swiss Gear backpack, and I think it's like a weekender, um, one of the Weekender brands. So first off, um, I always have my water bottle, um, which I need to fill up. <laughs> I just went through security, so I do need to fill this up before I get on the plane. And I always have my keep cup. So I like to at the airport, especially for early morning flights, like I had this morning in Bangkok, it was 5 a.m. Um, I like to get to go coffees, save a cup, and go ahead and put it in my keep cup and I can take it with me. So as far as drinks go, those are the two things that I always have with me on every flight. So first I will start with my purse and what it is I like to carry in my purse for each flight. So sometimes I have to put my backpack up on the overhead bin, especially if I'm in an emergency exit row. Um, so I try to make sure that I have like the most important items in my purse. Okay, so obviously the most important thing when you're traveling internationally is to have your passport. Oh, and <laughs> it matches my shirt. Um, so I do have a little passport holder, holds my passport and my boarding passes, super important. Uh, don't ever wanna forget those. Someone actually almost just left theirs in security in the little bin and that was kind of interesting. I of course have my wallet, it's super important to have some money, and I always have my sunglasses ready and willing in case she lands somewhere and it's sunny and bright and not raining like it has been in Southeast Asia. So that's actually been in it. That's actually one point is that depending on where I'm going, I will actually change what's in my carry-on. So for the last two months. I've been carrying my rain jacket and my umbrella in my carry-on, not knowing being monsoon season in Southeast Asia, that I was gonna get somewhere and it's gonna be pouring down rain, which half the time it was. So it was good that I took those. Going to London, I checked the weather. It's not supposed to rain. They're actually in a heat wave right now. So it's the complete opposite. Made sure I put on my sunscreen and I checked my raincoat and my umbrella. So depending where you're going will actually might determine what you decide to carry. So the other important things that I always have in my purse is my eye drops. So I got LASIK eye surgery a little while ago so my eyes get really dry, but also just on the planes and things, it's really good to have just some eye drops, especially for really long flights like today where I have a 14 hour flight. And for me, I also, I get motion sickness really bad. I think I've talked about this before. So I do also have my C-bands and my motion sickness pills just in case. And then the other, thing I always carry is my um, backup charger. So I always make sure this is charged before any flight and I can plug my phone into here, which, oh, this is my phone. <laughs> and that way if I, if there's not a plug on the plane, because some of the shorter flights don't always have USB plugs, um, I can charge my phone and so I can have it available once I land. And the other thing is to have hand sanitizer. I promise I really don't like the color pink that much, but today um, I also carry, because it's great on flights to be able to clean some germs away. It's really easy to get sick on flights. So I make sure that I have those things. So those are the most important things that I carry in my purse. Um, and so now I'm gonna go through what I carry in my backpack. Okay, so before I show you what's in my backpack, I wanted to show you why I love it so much. And that is because it opens like this. So I have my um, sort of like weekender, kind of like packing cube section that's over here. And then I have my laptop over here and then this top section that holds additional items. It does actually have a laptop section <laughs> but my zipper broke um, so I cannot use it um, so therefore my laptop is inside the bag which works just fine um, but yeah I just wanted to show you why I love this bag it has the water bottle holder has this side zipper right here has a top zipper right here and then of course all of the features on the inside so let's go ahead and check it out okay so let's dive in it to my backpack and see what it is that I do actually like to carry so first things first my laptop obviously is a digital nomad and remote worker 
this little puppy goes with me everywhere. And it's actually a really important aspect of finding a good backpack that you want to store your laptop in. So do you want it to go inside? Do you want it to have an outside pocket? Do you want it to come to the side or the top? There's so many different options nowadays. Um, one of the reasons I bought this backpack was because I liked that it had a side entrance um, and one that laid on my back so no one could like take my laptop. Um, again, the zipper did break recently and so it's not ideal at the moment, but um, I haven't found a backpack that I like well enough to replace it with. So for right now, even a broken zipper, this is still the back, best backpack that I've found. Um, the other thing I like to keep in that pocket is my notebook. Um, and sometimes if I'm reading a book, which I just finished mine, I'm reading a book that also goes in that pocket. Now the little mini pocket above my laptop, I like to travel with deodorant. These are all of my electronic cords. So I have my Fitbit cord in here. I have an extra set of headphones, um, an extra phone charger, just all of my cords. They actually fit in this little bag right here. And it's a fun, it's a fun little bag. And then the other thing I have in this pocket is my face roller, which I love. I actually used this on the plane before we landed um, because I was trying to wake up and it was getting kind of warm. It was getting kind of, you know, my eyes were kind of puffy. It's, I woke up at 4 a.m. So yes, face roller, it's, it really is, it seriously is like my favorite travel tool that has really nothing to do with travel. And in here, my little Lulu card I got as a gift card is actually all of my, um, all of my extra cards and things. So I keep my wallet and my purse, but then I have backup money in my backpack in case my purse gets stolen. So it's always a good idea to have your money in multiple places and don't just put it into one place. Um, although I would not recommend checking a whole lot of extra money and cards in case your luggage gets lost. Also, it's so weird, this airport is dead. Um, there's like barely any people. <sighs> do, 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 do. Okay, that's it, that's good. Okay, so now in my little like weekender packing cube section, that's where I keep some of the larger items um, and even a little bit heavier items. So of course on the plane it gets cold, um, so right now I'm just traveling with just an extra shirt. It's just a button up shirt that I can put over this. And I also always have in my backpack a scarf. So this can be used all different ways. It's big enough, it can kind of be as a, used as a blanket. Sometimes if I'm wearing shorts, I'll put this on my legs, or obviously I can wear it as a scarf, and sometimes they even <laughs> use it as like a little pillow. So multifunctional, always have a scarf. Also, I packed my it's a vest, like a little, it's, it's not super puffy, um, but I also put that in there just in case I got an extra cold on the plane, which does happen sometimes, although it didn't happen on this last flight. Um, and then other clothes-wise, um, because I'm wearing normal clothes, I like to pack my pajamas and my and my carry-on. This is again in case my suitcase gets lost. I want to make sure I have a few things, and so that's also another reason why I carry my brush, which is actually not necessary, but I just like to have it in my carry-on. Um, my makeup bag is right here. That goes in there, and then my dry fit towel. So. It's uh, one of those things, you, you know, what do you want to do? You want to be able to get up your flight, shower, brush your teeth, and maybe change clothes. So that's usually what I try to pack in my carry-on. The last thing that I always make sure that I have in my suitcase is my extra, um, my extra adapters. So, fun story, I was flying from Bali to South Korea, and I looked it up and I saw that um, both Bali and South Korea use the European plugs. So I took my European adapter with me and I checked my extra adapters. Well, I got to Kuala Lumpur So I got to Kuala Lumpur and they use a different plug. Um, so I, my two hour layover turned into a five hour layover and I was gonna get all this work done and I couldn't even charge my laptop. So now <laughs> I always travel with my extra adapters in my carry-on just in case I have a layover somewhere that uses a different plug, even if I think I know what plug they use.
Also, in my little pocket, I like to carry um, travel toothpaste and toothbrush. So this is really nice when you, yeah, have a layover or have a long flight or you just really want to brush your teeth. Um, I think I got it even at an airport, but this turns into a little toothbrush like this with a little handle. It's perfect. Um, so that's something that I just keep in my bag all the time. And then also a pen because you have to fill out landing cards and it's always just nice to have a pen on your person. And then last but not least, I have my, my front pocket, I have my headphones, and then of course my laptop and my phone charger, which for all my organization, these are probably the least organized things. I need some cord, I need some cord holders for these two things. Um, but those are, and oh gosh, these, these planes have lots of plugs and um, places for me to plug in my computer, so I'm getting a lot of work done while I fly, which is even more amazing. And this flight, I might even actually buy some Wi-Fi for a couple of hours just to do some extra things. But, okay, well, there you have it. That is what I take in my carry-on for international flights. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to subscribe down below and let me know what other videos you wanna see.